KZN government spearheaded by transport department in that province is conducting roadshows as part of improving regulations on public transport systems. This program is aimed to get operators of public transport, including taxis, to comply effectively with the laws. Now let's go across live to Afro Worldview reporter Nomusa Pungula at the Provincial Regulatory Entity Regional Roadshow in Durban. Good morning to you, Nomusa. We do know that there are still certain issues with regards to uh, public transport in the country. Uh, what is government doing to tackle this uh, by, in, by introducing these roadshows? Oh, good morning, Abigail, and good morning to our viewers. This is the beginning for Wazulu Natal government in terms of ensuring that they regulate the public transport sector, particularly uh, the minibus uh, sector, because you would understand that there's been a lot of complaints with regards to uh, the, with regards to them complying with all the Department of Transport uh, 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 regulatory uh, 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 things that they need to to comply with, and all that the certificates that they need to get. You find that a taxi owner or a person will go and buy a taxi or a minibus and then comes back then and try to apply for the licenses or the operating license which is the other way around where they should actually try and they should actually apply first before even before even going to buy that minibus but to share more light for us in terms of all the nitty gritties with these roadshows and also some of the challenges that are being faced in terms of regulating the public transport. I'm joined by Mr. Sifundi Swa Lunga, who is the chief director in the public uh, transport uh, uh, regulatory entity. Uh, Mr. Lunga, if you can just share with us what actually led to such a seminar or to such a gathering with the Department of Transport as well as the taxi operator. No, thank you um, and good morning. Uh, this gathering is a gathering that we are doing throughout uh, the province. We are actually visiting all taxi operators and other modes. The intention is to share information with all operators. You would understand that in terms of the National Land Transport Act, operators are supposed to be compliant uh, before they operate, but the biggest challenge that they are facing is that most of them are operating without uh, possessing the necessary authority, which is operating licenses. But today, we are here to share with them uh, what challenges are there and how are we going to solve them um, and, 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 and be able to assist them. What has made the department take this long in order to initiate such initiatives to share information with taxi operators? And also, what has been uh, the response from the Santaco as well as those that are not affiliated with Santaco in terms of such an initiative? Um, this, these visits are not only for Santaco, for all operators that are operating public transport. And again, it has not taken the department this long to come to operators. On a yearly basis, we do go to operators and have such seminars. In terms of those that are not complying with all the regulations uh, that are stipulated by the Department of Transport, what action as the department are you taking to ensure that they do not repeatedly uh, uh, not comply with all the regulations that you have set? In 2016, the Premier and the MEC, MEC Kaunda, they took a decision to uplift a moratorium whereby all operators are now allowed to come and apply for operating licenses. But what we are doing today, we are sharing with them information as to what challenges are there and what solutions we are coming up with to then able to assist them. You will know that um, as they are operating their business people, one of the requirements in terms of the legislation is that they must be tax compliant. That is the biggest challenge that they are facing because most of them are not tax compliant. So we end up not being able to assist them in giving them operating licenses. We are now together with Santaco coming up with a process and a system that is going to be able to assist them to be able to be compliant even in terms of the tax, uh, tax laws and other le legislative prescripts. Now, in terms of the influx of minibuses in places that actually do not have sufficient commuters, what are you doing as the department to ensure that there is peace in the industry? Because you find that some claim that these killings are actually uh, orchestrated by the fact that there's an influx of minibuses, but there are no people to commute. You are correct. 
in 2012, the, the current Premier, who was then the MEC for Transport, uh, uh, Premier Makingwan, uh, Premier uh, Mkun, convened a taxi in Daba in 2012 on the 5th of September. One of the things that transpired was that the taxi industry was uh, oversaturated. We then took a decision in that meeting that as a department we are going to embark on a study called Economic Viability Study to then actually check the demand and supply within the taxi industry because we then identified it as a problem to say the population that is using public transport is low whereas the demand of vehicles that are operating is high which leads to encroachment in all the routes that they are operating. We have then completed that study. It is giving us a clear picture in each and every association, if there is an oversupply of vehicles, will not be issuing operating licenses to those. Where there is an undersupply of, 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 of taxes or licenses, will then be saying, the study will be saying, you need to issue 50 licenses. Once we issue those 50 licenses, we'll then be reaching the ceiling, we'll no longer be issuing those licenses. We are sharing that study with all municipalities because in terms of the legislation, all municipalities are supposed and are compelled to then comment in terms of the demand and supply. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Lunga. We will be talking to you as the day progresses.